All right, so I'm finally leaving my uh, hotel here in downtown Cleveland. Uh, stayed at the Hampton Inn. It was great. Took full advantage of the late checkout today. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. Um, it actually uh, rained last night too, so extra bonus for staying in the hotel last night. Anyway, uh, last night I got a uh, wood-fired pizza for dinner just down the street from here. Um, and uh, it was it was okay. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah, slept in, just enjoyed the amenities that the hotel had, uh, relubed the chain, did some maintenance, moved some stuff around on the handlebars. Um, don't have a set plan for tonight, so I'm just going to try and go at least 100 miles and figure it out from there. So I'm going to get going here. One of these times I'm going to have to stop at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Been right by it twice, but uh, never stopped there. Um, I just came down the same street that I left uh, when I got the train in Amtrak and did the uh, Ohio to Erie Trail um, last September. So, kind of cool to see a familiar place. We got all kinds of neat things around the lake here. Be a nice, nice place to stay for a couple days. And I'm going to truck along here. There should be uh, basically bike routes to lead me all the way out. An overcast day, but guess what? The headwinds are gone. They're only like five or six miles an hour, so that really doesn't matter at all. Finally, after three brutal days. Uh, yesterday wasn't as bad with the trail, but I still, when I get out in the opener, there wasn't trees around. It was getting pretty bad. But. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna try and put some miles behind me and I uh, should be kind of following the lake the whole time now. So should be interesting. I forgot to mention that I actually was originally going to make a reservation for the uh, Lake Erie State Park in New York, but when I was going to book, uh, since tonight it's a Friday night, they wanted a two night minimum. So it was gonna be close to $90 for just a plain old campsite. So there was no way I would rather spend that $90 on a hotel, you know, so. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, explain that. That's why I really don't have anything tonight. This is as far as I booked anything out because I didn't know where I would be in time. And it's really loud here with the interstate next to me. <laughs> I just totally saw this guy not even slow down for a stop sign. He just hauled ass through it. 
and there was a cop sitting there right on the side road. I passed the cop. That's what you get. Well, I guess I uh, lucked out stopping when I did. It's uh, raining out now. Not sure what town I'm in, but uh, just stopped to get something to snack on for lunch. I was looking for a park, but I only saw one here and it didn't look like it had electricity, so. I'm gonna continue on. The rain looks like it should pass in about 10 minutes. And the next town in about six miles has a park that looks like I can charge at, so I'm gonna try that. Got everything in its waterproof mode. Protect the charger in there. Uh, these bags are waterproof. These aren't, they have a waterproof liner in them that's zippered. And then the canvas is supposed to be semi waterproof. Um, but then I got the covers on them. It should keep everything dry. While well, sitting at the gas station, it was raining. I took a peek around the corner to see if uh, it was looking any brighter out. And I saw this park over here. And it's got a pavilion back there. And I saw it's got like electrical conduit on the outside but it's all sealed off there's no outlets and then i was uh in this i saw a conduit coming up this bridge here this little goes over this little creek here and i look up in the rafters let's see if i can show you and there's an outlet up there so i climbed on the railing and tried i didn't think it was going to work since the other stuff shut off and there's not even any lights in here but yeah, it, it's not live, but it was worth a shot anyway. That would have been nice while I'm sitting here to be able to charge. Yeah, I didn't even know this park was here. It's not even on the map. Uh, I guess this is a town of Madison. So yeah, just, um, I, it's kind of, the rain is dulled down to like a little sprinkle now. So I don't know, I'll probably, probably take off. I'm not afraid of getting wet, but if it's only gonna last, you know, 15 to a half hour no re no reason to go when it's uh when it was pouring out earlier so anyway disappointed no charging but i'm gonna push on i'm, I'm still okay on battery but it, it would have been nice to charge so i'm about like i think i'm done about 40 miles um and the battery is probably at like 75 percent or something anyway all right, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go instead of sitting around wasting time since I already got a late start this morning. Still have no idea where I'm going to stay, but we'll figure that out later in the day. It's also supposed to rain again, I think, from like 6 to 8. So it might be ideal to have a spot around that time or at least be in a park or something where I can charge and figure things out. So lots of train action here. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. It's gonna rain, I felt a couple drops already. It's been, it's been overcast all day, but 62 degrees, I had to put my jacket on too. I'm on a little path in uh, Geneva State Park. That's pretty nice. It's the best view I've gotten so far of uh, Lake Erie, except for right outside of Cleveland there. But this is nice. It's because there's not a ton of people. It looks like this was the old path that went right on the lakeshore. But it's all eroded away. Now it kind of winds through the woods. 
This is nice. It's been kind of drizzly still, but not not so bad. I even ha I didn't even have to put on my rain jacket, but I still got all my stuff put away, as you can see in the background there. That's been a, been a nice ride. Still got to find a place to charge. I'm I'm thinking there's probably pavilions with outlets in this state park here, but I'm gonna enjoy the scenery for a little bit first. Geneva on the lake. Very touristy. This place is cuckoo and it's only Friday. This is cool and unexpected. Woohoo! Made it to Pennsylvania! Well, today's been a bit just frustrating in general. I mean, I feel good riding, it's just... I, um... I don't know, just, just a combo of everything, I guess. Uh, with the rain, not being able to charge, uh... When it was raining, I had my Garmin, like, reset my ride at mile 60. Um, and then just the frustration of not knowing where I'm going to camp. Um, on the regular bike, I really wouldn't care because it's much easier to stealth camp. But I have to find a place to charge. Otherwise, in the morning, I'd be charging for three or four hours and I wouldn't get to go anywhere. So... All the hotels I've been looking at were like super expensive or not even or booked fully because unfortunately it's Friday night. Um, campgrounds too, just as you know, just the same. Most of them along the lake have all turned to seasonal only, so you know, you got to book it for a month or all year, so that wasn't working. Not a lot of opportunities, so. I finally ended up just booking a hotel because it's supposed to rain tonight too. Just get it done with. And the only other frustrating part is that I know I'm not going to get there till like 9.30 at night. So, you know, just, uh, yeah, just no, no fun time. But I guess I had that in the morning since I didn't leave till like 11, but I don't know. It'd be nice to have some more time. I guess I did yesterday when I got into Cleveland, I had plenty of time, but... I don't know, just feels a little frustrating, I don't know why. Feel good on the bike, but just, yeah, just, I'll be happy to be there. Um, plus, oh, plus the other thing, I haven't eaten anything basically all day. I haven't had time to stop anywhere, so I had like a carrot cake, piece of carrot cake. I had some grapes and some fruit snacks and some nuts. That's it. That's all I've had besides breakfast this morning. So I, I haven't had lunch or dinner and it's like almost eight o'clock. So I don't care, I'm gonna get to the hotel. It's kind of right near the interstate. So there's a bunch of restaurants that are open till 11. So I am i don't care, I'm gonna go there, check in and then uh, go to a restaurant and get something to eat. And I'm gonna plan on leaving early tomorrow. I won't have to have the tent out. Um, I don't have any bike maintenance to do and my laundry. I've got plenty of clothes uh, for the next couple days. So I'm just going to check in, eat, shower, or I should say I'm going to check in, 
go get something to eat, come back and just crash and then just be ready early in the morning to go. So anyway, just a little rant, I guess. Maybe I'm 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 hangry because I'm hungry. So anyway, I got 26 miles left and it's 750 and the sun sets like 915 or something. So I'm gonna be cutting it very close. Cutting it very close on the battery too. So anyway, that's the current situation. I'm sure looking back it won't I'm sure looking back it'll be like, yeah, that was a fun day. But anyway, alright. I'm gonna keep making some miles here. Half a mile left to the hotel, cutting it close. All right, uh, made it to my hotel room. The lady checking in was super nice. She was talking about her bike that uh, she it's practically brand new because he's only rode it four times. Um, super friendly. Um, <laughs> there's people hanging out uh, outside the lobby there uh, with coolers and um, a bunch of folding chairs and lots, lots of kids. I guess there's like a water park across the street and stuff. So this must be a big hangout for the weekend, big summer event thing. So kind of cool. I'm going to hop in the shower and then there's a couple restaurants that are open till like 11 o'clock tonight. It's a little past nine, I think. So I'm going to grab some grub and come back and just go to bed. I'm just beat and starving. So anyway, I will see you on the next one.